Hi everyone, my name is Rachel Thorson, Senior Product Manager for Drafting Assistant at Thomson Reuters and a licensed attorney in the state of Minnesota. This is my ninth year with the company and we are located in our Egan headquarters here in Minnesota. In this ongoing series of videos, we'll be taking a look at some of the tools and features within Thomson Reuters Drafting Assistant and how you can incorporate those tools into your workflow to improve accuracy and efficiency. Today we're going to take a look at WestCheck. WestCheck Access is available for all Westlaw subscribers through the Drafting Assistant software install or through drafting.westlaw.com. The first recommended step I would take for using WestCheck is to create your profile and that is going to dictate the amount of information that you get within your WestCheck report and the type of citations that are processed within your document. You may only be concerned with getting key site information of cases and statutes or you might just be interested in pulling the full text copies of cases. These are things that you can control within your profile. I'm going to go ahead and create a new profile. You'll have to give your profile a name. The Select Content Category section is going to control the types of citations within your document that will be processed. This doesn't change the amount of information in your report. It's always going to give you anything that cites to these particular cases or statutes in your key site report, regardless of the type of document that it is. Rather, this controls the types of citations that will be processed from your document. You also have the ability to control the services that are running in WestCheck. WestCheck is made up of four different services. The first is Keysight, which is the default and the most commonly used. The next service gives you the option to extract full text copies of the documents directly from Westlaw. You also have the ability to process the document with a service called QuoteWrite. QuoteWrite takes the quotes in your document and compares each one to the text of the case on Westlaw. It might tell you that the quote was found and it's a perfect match, or it could tell you that there were differences found and highlight those differences for you. The third option is that it was not found at all and too many differences between the version in your document and the official copy on Westlaw could not be verified. The last service you have is Cited Decisions. This would give you a list of all of the authorities cited within a particular case in your document. So if I wanted to pull a list of all of the cases cited to by the Anderson case, I would be able to pull that list with cited decisions. Also within the profile, you have the options to control how your report will be sorted. By citations is the default, and it will give you all of the services you have requested for each citation, or you have the option of getting all of the key site information at once and then moving on to the full text results. If you would like the system to identify unverified citations, and those are citations that we cannot process in WestCheck because there is not enough information to know what that site is, it would still be listed in your report, you would just not have any services available. Once we have our site list, all of the citations that were validated will be available to us and you'll see the services that were pre-selected from our profile are enabled for us. For the services that are grayed out on an individual citation, that means the service cannot be run for that particular site. For example, QuoteWrite will not be available for statutes because that is a feature exclusive to cases. You'll see here under all of my citations that I have Keysite enabled based on my profile settings. I do also have the option to enable certain features for individual sites if I don't want to pull the full text for all citations in my list. If I only want to extract the full text copies of specific cases, I can go ahead and do that using the radio buttons below. You also have the ability to add services to all of your citations using the Add Remove Services button. If you click on the pencil icon at the top of the list, you'll be able to enable full text for all citations within your list. If there's a citation that was missed, you also have the ability to add that citation to the list using the Add Citation button at the top of your screen. Click the plus sign and you'll be able to type in the citation or copy and paste into the box. You also have the option of downloading your citation list if you just want to extract the list of citations that were found. You also have the option to change the default order in which the citations are displayed in the list. The default order is the order in which they appear in the document. However, you can also group them by their status as verified, unverified, or non-unique. Once we click Create Report, we'll have additional options of how we want our report to be displayed. You have the traditional options of email or download delivery, and you'll also have an online report display option. 
Keep in mind if you need to save this report or send it off to somebody else, you would want to use the email or download option because the online report is only available during your current session. If you're getting full text copies of the documents sent to you from the request, you can also deliver those separately from the main Keysight report. The default is to create a separate file for each document and will be delivered to you in a zip file format. However, you also have the option to create one continuous file for all of the full text results. For users that like to view cases in the PDF copy of the printed books, you have the option to get reporter images sent to you instead of the Westlaw copy. You also have the option to exclude and include headnotes. Within the cases, if you would like to have your footnotes delivered in line instead of at the end of the case, you have the option to control that as well. The last option you have here, Rules for Citations, is only available to drafting assistant customers. WestCheck users that only have access through Westlaw will not see this option. The Rules for Citations option gives you the ability to see the citation in your report in a particular rule format. If you would prefer to have the output of the report shown in Blue Book, California, or New York format, you'll be able to control that here. I'm going to go ahead and choose Blue Book format and click Generate Report. So here are my full text deliveries, and you'll see that each file is listed separately. And then we also have our WestTrack report. You can use the summary at the top of the report to jump to a particular citation. If I want to jump down to the Cellotex case, I can click on the key site link here, and that is going to take me directly to those negative citing references. Because I have my report organized by citation, any quote right information or cited decisions would appear directly after that negative treatment. Thanks for your time and attention. I hope this has been a helpful overview of Drafting Assistant. Look for additional videos in this series focusing on other tools and features so that you can get the most out of Drafting Assistant. If you have any questions or would like free one-on-one -on -one training, please contact your account team or the reference attorneys who are available 24-7. Thank you.